Assalamu alaikum dear student Today I am here with the question number 12 The last and very important question of uh, this paper May 2023 18th May 2023 May June series And this question carries 15 marks out of 75 uh, in your exam And students were very concerned about uh, this question These questions are known as scenario based questions and uh, within the time li limit we need to understand the scenario and write the pseudocode accordingly so let's start in this video i'm going to analyze the problem and uh, let's start the analysis of this problem so let's start reading this uh, question uh, in this question basically we have uh, what is mentioned here it is it can it contains two arrays two Two dimensional arrays the the name of one array is account and other array name is account details okay so uh, what is uh, being stored in account uh, array account holders name and then uh, passwords right and yes I have drawn these two columns here then uh, next thing is uh, one more 2d array the name of two this 2d array is account details and uh, uh, there are three columns in this array balance overdraft limit and withdrawal limit all right so uh, it's also mentioned here column one stores the balance the amount of money in the account then column two stores so here we can say the data type of this um, balance type array is uh, balance type data is real then column 2 stores the overdraft limit the maximum total amount an account holder can borrow from the bank after the account balance reaches 0, 0.00 so this is overdraft limit all right and the third thing is withdrawal limit that how much amount can be withdraw uh, at one in one transaction all right so this is all about the structure of array arrays and then uh, what is mentioned in next part of the question the amount of money in a bank account can be negative so uh, wherever we are using a balance statement we can write if balance is less than zero yes there is per, uh, possibility that account balance can be negative overdrawn but not by more than the overdraft limit and then definitely we will use overdraft limit uh, for comparison that it could not exceed overdraft limit so basically we can see here that uh, at this point we can just uh, understand this thing that we are using two constant in this program one is your overdraft limit and what uh, one is your withdrawal limit all right okay gee, so yes we are agree with this thing that there are two constant in this program okay let's proceed further we need to write suitable error messages so what kind of error messages it could be that account limit is exceeded or withdrawal limit is exceeded okay so now the bank account id gives the index of each account holders data held in two areas it means that we are using this bank account id as an index okay and yes they have mentioned it here as well that we are going to use these array the same index if we are uh, if we are just looking for the details of this account at index number 20 so it will give us the details 20 comma 1 is giving us the detail of the balance then 20 comma 2 is giving us the detail of overdraft limit and for the same account and 20 comma 3 is giving us the detail of withdrawal limit all right so let's proceed further what is uh, the other th what, are, what are the other things in this program now the array and variable size have already been set up and the data stored so when uh, they have introduced the variable size here it means that we are using for to next all right the for to next is starting from like uh, indexes for uh, bank account id and uh, this loop will execute till size so hopefully you will get the idea that in fact we are using a looping statement here all right next no need to declare these two arrays like the arrays we have already said and one variable size and two arrays two 
2D arrays, we don't need to declare these 2D arrays. These are already filled array. We just need to extract the data on demand and compare it and then write the results accordingly. All right. Now, write a program. This is original part of our program that we need to write the pseudocode for it. Check the account ID. As it's already mentioned that account ID is um, stored in account array. Check the account ID exists and the name and password entered by the account holder. Okay, G. So, name and password. First of all, let's focus on this part. This is in fact uh, showing us the presence check pseudocode that we need to write the pseudocode for presence check. Like this is an example uh, uh, mandatory field and we cannot leave this field blank. Okay. The next part is name and password entered by the account holder match the name and the password stored in account. So this program is basically for validation. This part of the program is basically working with the validation and we are working on double entry checks. This problem slashing will be really helpful when we are we will be writing the pseudocode for our program. Okay, so let's proceed further. Um, then we have we are having a display menu. Very simple, we will just need we just need to write four output statements like this and uh, these are four choices and we have to choose out of these four choices so definitely we will be using case statement and case of and uh, we will be writing choice as a uh, selection variable all right allows an action to be chosen and completed display balance withdraw money uh, deposit money and exit okay each action is completed by a procedure with a parameter of account id it means that we need to write four procedure for each action got the idea then you must use pseudocoder program code and add comments to explain how your code works all inputs and outputs must contain suitable messages you only need to declare any local array and local variable that you use you do not need to declare the initial to and initialize the data in the global arrays account and account details. So this thing is showing to us that uh, in uh, we have a main program and four procedure for uh, these actions must be written uh, beneath or um, like above that um, main program. Okay, G. Hopefully you got the idea that how this program will work and next video inshallah i will write proper pseudocode for this uh, problem statement hopefully this will give uh, this will uh, give you a clear uh, clear picture of the analysis of the problem see you next class inshallah uh, with the detail of pseudocode keep watching and subscribing my channel thank you